Hey, John Bon Jovi, it's Men's Health. At least I hope you brought a pizza. I'm John Bon Jovi, welcome to my house and show you the gym and the fridge. All right, let's see that kitchen. Welcome to the fridge. What staples do you keep in there? This and this. <laughs> Welcome to my fridge. Fruit, lots of grapes, lots of blueberries, fresh vegetables, I like yogurt. Hummus is a good snack. Lots of water with electrolytes, greens. That's really the size of it. Lots of vegetables, lots of proteins from chicken and eggs and fish. What would we never see in your fridge? If I can help it, but I don't get a vote around here. Uh, cucumbers, not my favorite thing. Raw carrots, not my favorite thing. I'm not a very picky eater. Everything in moderation, including moderation. It's Bon Jovi's 40th anniversary. How has the band's diet changed over the years? You know, I think we used to live on McDonald's drive through I haven't been anywhere near a place like that in, in I don't remember how many years. A lot less carbs in the form of pastas and I guess we're more conscious of things like gluten. Gluten-free pasta is just horrible. I'm not interested. Uh, although you can get a good gluten-free pizza if you know how to make it. Um, that's the pizza delivery guy that I have waiting at the gate. Impeccable timing. What do you eat before a huge performance? I used to eat a big plate of pasta and chicken would be my typical pre-show meal. Cut that out in the last few years with a concern about gluten. You know, it, it makes a difference. If I really wanted to indulge, I'm still not afraid of a great peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Has your recent throat surgery affected your diet? It hasn't impacted my diet at all. I've always been, you know, on my game when it came to being health conscious. You know, none of that really gonna make a big difference to something that's as big as your thumbnail, which is your vocal cords. You're that big. What's the toughest diet you've tried? I was gluten-free, dairy-free, alcohol-free, sugar-free during the course of the last tour. I was very skinny, but it wasn't any fun. Do you drink coffee? I've limited my coffee intake, where it used to be a hell of a lot more. Now it's a cup in the morning. I went through my diet Red Bull stage. You won't get me near one of those ever again. How do you maintain a healthy diet with such a busy schedule? Not always easy. You know, I will succumb to sugar. Guilty as charged. I'm drinking Hampton Water Rose, but you're not gonna find me having a bottle of red anymore. I'm not gonna really have a steak all that often. I, if I want my protein, I get it out of chicken or even fish. What do you eat for breakfast? An egg over easy on some Nova Scotia locks and a piece of whole wheat toast with some avocado spread on it. Fills me up for a good part of the day. What does your cheat meal look like? A great New York pizza, full of pepperoni and sausage and onions and peppers and anchovies and you name it. What do you put in your protein shakes? Just ice because the TB12 chocolate um, protein shake is actually pretty darn good. And then we have a hydrating electrolyte drink that you know I stick in as much of my water as I can, uh, not only does it taste good, but it's keeping me hydrated and doing good. What do you grab from the fridge when you're hungry at 2 a.m.? Then late night, these are my friend. So there's nothing innocent about that. All right, I'm done with the fridge. Let me show you the gym. All right, let's hit the gym. After you, John. I like to be in the gym. Um, that, that just, the endorphin rush is, is something that, you know, I'm very comfortable with on a, on a daily basis, typically first thing in the morning. How often do you work out? Five or six days a week, a little something each day. How has your exercise routine changed over time? You know, it had because I was doing a lot of the usual pumping weights and running. And as I've gotten older, inflammation and injury started to creep in. So I approached it much differently. And, and so the pliability and the stretching and the bands and 
Everything that we do with that keeps me not only fit, but feeling good. Do you have a trainer? Look at her, she's 94 years old. Can you believe <laughs> that? This is Felicia Pellegrini, who is my trainer and motivator. I was having a lot of pain. I was getting cortisone shots constantly at the chiropractor. I was doing cryotherapies since we have had Felicia in our lives and this whole pliability approach to things. I don't think I've seen a chiropractor three times in the last 10 months. Chiropractors working for us on the road for 30 plus years. Now it's all been eliminated. Hey Felicia, tell us the truth. What exercise does John hate? It's always, oh, I don't want to run, but then after. I'm so glad we did that. Yeah, that's that's every what time. I say every time. Mm -hmm. Do you do anything outside of the gym to stay fit? I live to play tennis. You know, I mean, if I could play tennis, if I could be on the seniors handicap division of professional tennis, that's my aspiration. <laughs> How does working out help you as an artist? Getting rid of inflammation, no matter if you're an athlete or, or a performer or you're going to work every day, you know, you don't want your knees and your ankles and your elbows to hurt. What motivates you to stay fit? I look in the mirror and I go, holy shit, you ain't as young as you used to be. <laughs> How do you keep your mind fit? That's a work in progress like anyone else. You have to find your motivation and it doesn't have to be to get on the stage. It just has to be to want to go to work or to play with your kids or to just enjoy your weekend. You want, you'd prefer to do it pain free. So finding things that motivate you to stay fit mentally or physically are, are only going to be a benefit. What kind of music do you listen to when you work out? It's a variety, but as of late, we've been very excited that there's a, a full-time Bon Jovi channel on Sirius XM, so we listen to channel 312. <laughs> and we've been monitoring the brand new Bon Jovi radio station on Sirius. Do you have any scars? Plenty. Everything from calf tears to plantar fasciitis surgery to meniscus, shoulder, and of course, my throat <laughs> that the doctor enjoyed cutting uh, with a butter knife. Damn, that sounds intense. Let's see if you can keep the faith through rapid fire questions. Workout time, 7 a.m. or 7 p.m.? A.m. Squat or deadlift? Squat. Crossfit, yay or nay? Yeah. Pull-ups or chin-ups? Ooh, um, chin-ups. Dumbbells or kettlebells? No, 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 dumbbells. Run on the treadmill or the great outdoors? Outside. Cardio or weights? Cardio. Big legs or big arms? Big arms, guns, baby. <laughs> Biggest compliment, jacked, ripped, swole, or cut? Cut. If you could work out with anyone, dead or alive, who would it be? Arnold. Arnold, classic. All right, it's done, good. Pizza for everybody, goodbye, see you later. Get out, see ya, no, don't let the door hit you in the ass. <laughs> <laughs>